coupled systems are really central to any approach in applied dynamical systems. This is really what applied dynamics is all about. But let's rethink what we mean by coupled and decoupled systems. Back in volume one, we spent a little bit of time talking about coupled systems. We had what, like coupled drivers or coupled spinners. And what we found is that there wasn't a whole lot we could do with those, but we could look at phase differences, talk about phenomena like synchronization, phase locking, stuff like that. And that's great, but that only takes us so far because real coupled systems can in and of themselves be a little bit more involved and not necessarily one dimensional. We might want to look at coupled systems that have slightly more sophisticated long-term interactions. Or we might want to really go beyond two agents and look at what happens when we couple a whole bunch of things together and they're all interacting, they're all doing really crazy stuff. Now, we're not gonna be able to do that here in volume two, which is explicitly two-dimensional dynamics. But what we are going to be able to do is deal with fully coupled systems in a slightly more principled approach, an approach that involves, when possible, decoupling those systems and using what we know about 1D. That's the idea. Now, how are we going to do that? We're going to do it with algebra. Lots of algebra. Lots of linear algebra. The prerequisites for this volume are a little bit different for those of volume one. Now you need to have at least some exposure to linear algebra. You have to be good with matrices. It would help if you know a little bit about the basic language of linear algebra, especially eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Now we'll go over that at the beginning, but it's gonna be a quick review. So be prepared to put in some serious time at the beginning doing some linear algebra.